Hey guys, what's up? It's your girl Jasmine. How are you guys? So today I have some tips for you on things that you need to know before a fashion show. My last video I talked about things um, that you need to know before a casting. Now these, so say you got the casting, right? Because you was confident like I told you, right? So now you in the show, right? <laughs> so now these are some tips that I want to share with you that, um, that will benefit you before the show actually happens. So let's get right into it. So before the show happens, there are going to be some practices, maybe, maybe not. Um, and the designers are going to be making your garments for you. So my first tip for you would be, don't be afraid to ask questions. Ask whoever cast you any questions. Ask if you know the designers and who you're going to be walking for. Make sure that you ask them questions. Make sure that they know your measurements because you don't. Make sure you can try to actually like get a fitting um, with them. Sometimes designers will just take your measurements and they'll make you your garment, and then you it's the day of the show and you put it on and it doesn't fit right. Um, and again, your measurements are very important, so make sure that you do get those done correctly. Make sure that you're not afraid to ha ask any questions. Ask questions. Make sure that you are good, because at the end of the day, yes, this is their show, but you are also still selling your brand. You are selling you. So you need to make sure that you look decent. You know what I mean? Like, you gotta look decent in the clothes that you're going to be walking down the runway with. <laughs> So, like I said, if you can get contact with the designers, set up a fitting, make sure that they know your right measurements, and again, don't be afraid to ask questions. Don't be afraid to say something. There's limits and boundaries, obviously, when you're talking about somebody's work, but at the same time, a simple question, and make sure that you're asking it in a, in a respectful way, obviously, but a simple question like, hey, do you mind taking it in a little bit here? You know, um, I, it feels a little uh, loose. Something so simple like that, I'm pretty sure nobody's going to mind. Um, I've done it before, and they're like, oh, yeah, 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 I just want to make sure, you know, it's, it's, it's all about making sure, first off, their clothes look good, because your job is to model their clothes. And then two, make sure that you look good because you're modeling you, you're you're selling your brand at the end of the day because you never know who's going to be at the show and any other pe person that will be able to, any there could be any other people there that want to cast you or, or book you for anything at the show. So you got to make sure that you are on points, okay? <laughs> Before the show also, you know, if there's practices or if there isn't practices, if there isn't practices, make sure that you're practicing. If there is practices, obviously, you know, you're going to do whatever with the practices but you can practice extra always practice practice makes perfect so that is definitely a, a key 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 thing that you should do before a fashion show now the day of the show it is very important that you are clean you you are like on point your skin's good you are moisturized you are shaved like you need to be clean like your your uh, hygiene needs to be a one okay that day don't i would advise you to really moisturize your body the night before like if you put oils and stuff on your body do that the night before and then when you wake up those oils will set in and if there's any excess oils just kind of like wipe them down with a towel or something so that when you do have you know try on the clothes if you're trying them on the day of or whatever the case is when you put those clothes on that oil is not on their clothes you could really mess up somebody's stuff when you're going the day of the show just make sure that you are shaved and well groomed don't wear any makeup i'm pretty sure that they're going to have the makeup there for you just make sure that your face is moisturized not too much product on your body. So again, just make sure that you are shaved and well groomed before the show. My next tip would be the day of the show to bring extra makeup, extra foundation, you know, extra brushes, anything that, you know, cause sometimes they don't have your shade, they may not have your shade or whatever the case is, bring your stuff, bring your extra makeup, bring extra tights, bring undergarments, ex just bring as much as you can, but as least as you can at the same time. Like, don't bring your whole closet. Like, when I say bring extra garments, I'm talking about nude and black underwear and strapless bras and um, waist trainers if you wear one or something that's going to slim you down and make you look nice. Um, you know, girdles and stuff like that. Bring all of those things because they may not have that for you. And again, you want to look your best. 
bring a pair of leggings. Sometimes you be you may be modeling a t-shirt and they don't have the pants for you. You need to bring jeans and leggings. Black, blue, light blue, dark blue. If I would bring all three. Black, blue, and dark blue, and light blue, and all that. I would bring all shades of colors of pants. Um, the neutral colors, obviously, because you just never know what color shirt you're going to wear, how it's going to work. When I say bring a lot of things, as far as that, bring it, but bring the simple things. Like, don't bring your new hat and stuff. Like, don't do all that. Like, that's too much. <laughs> but, like I said, it's very wise to bring a pair of black leggings or your undergarments. Make sure that they're nude and black only. Do not bring your little nice pink uh, underwear, you know, your little boy shorts laced up and stuff. No, 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 no. Make sure it's very, uh, seamless, if possible, and nude and black. Those are the only colors you should bring. And then if you want, you could bring white too, because sometimes, you know, it could go. White is a neutral color as well, in a sense. So, make sure that you're bringing all of those things with you to the show. The day of the show as well, when you show up, Make sure that you're wearing loose clothes. Nothing that's going to give you those imprints. You know what I mean? Like, don't wear a sweatshirt that has that that thick... Well, it's not thick, but you know what I mean? It can, it can leave an imprint on your arm or, you know, jeans that are so tight on your stomach that you have the lines. You don't want to have any lines on you. So make sure you're wearing loose clothing, a nice t-shirt, maybe leggings that don't, you know, give you those impressions on your skin. Um, that's a big thing. And again, show up with a clean face, loose clothing, like you're comfortable chilling in your bed kind of thing. Sweatpants, hair tie, chilling with no makeup on. That's what you need to show up at, a, um, for a fashion show. You do not be afraid to say no. If you do not feel comfortable, like I said, there are times that the designers don't fit you until the day of the show. And if that, if that, if that garment or whatever they want you to wear, you do not feel comfortable in, you don't need to walk in it. Because at the end of the day, it's going to show. Your confidence will go down. You're not going to feel comfortable and you're going to go out there and you're going to do bad. Trust me, I know from experience. <laughs> I thought that, you know, okay, they booked me like I have to wear this thing even though I was really uncomfortable in it. It was a dress. It was too short. And the whole time I was on the runway, I was trying to pull it down instead of working on my walk and making sure that I was focusing and, and selling myself. And so it really... It really wasn't, it was a bad experience for me, you know, and I don't want you guys to go through that experience. So please, if you do not like it, if you are not comfortable, do not wear it, do not walk. It is not that, it's not, it's not bad for you to say no. Like, it's really not. At the end of the day, like I said, you are selling you. This is your brand. If you do not feel comfortable, then you do not do it. Period, point blank. I don't care what nobody say. If they say, oh, you're not going to work in this fashion, and yeah, okay, whatever. Because at the end of the day, if you work hard and do what you want to do and do it when you need to do it, you're going to get it wherever you need to get it. Period, point blank. And that's just it. So like I said, if you do not feel comfortable, do not do it. Because again, it will show. It will show. It will definitely show that you're not comfortable. And again, like you want the things to look good on you. So make sure that they do. Make sure that they look good and make sure that you're comfortable. My last tip would be have fun. Have fun. Own it, be confident, and have fun. Fashion shows are stressful, yes, but at the same time, they're really, really fun. I don't know how many, like, I've done, um, I've done three so far, and every last one of them have been, you know, that has their stressful moments, and you're like, oh, and you're angry, and all that, and you're, like, just trying to get, you're just frustrated because you're trying to get everything all together and situated, but at the end of them, it was just, just looking back, like, oh, it was so fun. Like, I had so much fun walking on the stage, hearing the crowd, like, in tunnel vision. Like, no one's going to stop me. I'm going to work this runway, okay? <laughs> so make sure that you're having fun and enjoy every moment of it, the good and the bad. Take your experiences and learn from them and learn from mine because that's why I'm sharing these tips right now. <laughs> so again, have fun. Love yourself, be confident, own it, don't be scared to ask no questions, don't be scared not to wear nothing. You are your brand and you are selling that and that's it. You're working as well, you're working as well because you are working for these people and you are modeling their stuff, but 
You are also selling your brand at the end of the day. So make sure that you are doing the things that you need to do and that you're comfortable with. And that's that. I hope this video was helpful. I hope these tips are very helpful for, for you guys when you get your fashion show on and you got the day of. It's so exciting. I love you guys so much for watching. Thank you so much for watching. Thanks again for following my journey. Make sure you stay tuned for my next video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to your girl's page. <laughs> I love you guys. Bye.